Hey guys, this is Brian, and today I'm bringing another one of my top selling jeans on eBay deep dives. Today we will be digging into the number 30 top selling men's jeans based on volume. Uh, that would be Abercrombie and Fitch. Let's look at the number breakdown. And this data comes from Terapeak. Over the past year, we have 5,431 sold. Currently, there are 3,477 active. The 90-day sell-through rate is 31%, which means on average, if you listed a pair, just the average normal pair, who would sell in a little bit over nine months, nine, ten months probably, the ASP, including shipping, is $29.56. So now let's dig into this a little deeper. Um, once again, I am on Terapeak. If you go to research from my eBay selling, you go to Terapeak product research. Type in what you're looking for. In this case, Abercrombie Fitch jeans. I have selected the men's jeans and I have selected pre-owned. And with that, it gives you the average sell price, the average shipping, total sold, and this is under a 90-day period. You can go up to three years on this if you want to, but I like 90-day whenever possible because it gives me the sell-through rate right here, which is at 31% and change. And you can see from the bar graph, it looks like most of these are selling in the high teens up till about 25 um, is what you would expect for most pairs. All right. Now, with that being said, let's, I've sorted this from the highest selling price because I want to look for the ones that are more valuable. Um, and if it's not, if you find a pair that's not one of the examples that we go over today, it doesn't mean it can't be profitable. Just look it up and it's going to depend on your cost of goods. If you're looking at 1964 as your average sell price, I would probably not want to spend more than five, six dollars on a pair um, if you're going to get about 20 plus shipping on it. All right. The first one, we have a lot. So we're, we're, we're going to ignore that because a lot is more than one jean. Here we have a pair of Abercrombie and Finch vintage paratrooper pants. Let's take a look at these. All right. So we got, we got, uh, let's look at the tag. Um, they say vintage, but these are made in China, so probably not vintage. We could look at the tag, but I can almost guarantee that's not vintage. Doesn't mean they're not valuable. Um, paratrooper pants, cargo pants, parachute. Those are all the keywords. We do have a defect, which the buyer showed. So if you found some parachute pants by Amber Crabby and Fitch, I would probably look those up, but um, looks like these sold for, what did they sell for? $84.99 plus shipping. So that's a nice sell. I did see quite a few of this model, the Abercrombie and Fitch, um, Ezra Fitch, which is the model. Um, these are boot cut 34 by 30 right there on the back waistband. You see the model name, so that's easy to identify. There's the waist and the material content. We got our measurements. So this Ezra Fitch, I did see several and these top selling ones that were the Ezra Fitch. So that seems to be a good selling model. Those sold for $79.99 plus, whoa, $17 shipping. <laughs> That's a lot for shipping. You can ship these for $7.90 in a flat rate priority um, legal envelope for sure. Two pairs, we'll ignore those. There's another one of the Ezra Fitch. So you're, you're always kind of looking for patterns and trends when you do this type of deep dive, showing the distressing. Um, once again, there's the size, there's the boot cut, there's a sideways picture. <laughs> Took a lot of pictures. Oh, and, there, and there's the model actually on the back tab this time. Um, distressed would have been a good keyword for this title because those are definitely a lot of distressing going on. So the Ezra Fitch would be something to look for. I did see, here we have another one, the Kilburn. Let's take a look at it real quick. Uh, low rise jeans, dark wash it looks like. Abercrombie Fitch 34 by 34. 
Okay, there is the uh, the model on that tag right there. It's hard to tell where that's coming from, but on the inside of the jeans, I'm sure those sold for what? Fifth, where, where were we at? Oh, here we go. 65 plus 14 shipping. Once again, these people are charging. <clears throat> I did decide to, ra to raise my standard shipping. I, I do flat rate shipping on all jeans. I was doing $8.99, but looking at what people are charging, I moved mine to $9.99, which is still lower than what most people are charging for shipping. Looks like they're doing calculated, which is not a good move because you're going to overcharge your customer. And oftentimes, it's going to turn away a potential customer. Um, vintage 1892 flare jeans. Interesting. Right there on the back. Um, just giving us some info. Once again, that tag shows its flare made in USA. Um, that's where the vintage is coming from, 34 by 34. So vintage flare made in USA. Also have a nice fade pattern right here on the front. Also making these more attractive. There's another Ezra Fitch, keyword Y2K, baggy jeans, skater distressed. Uh, Terrapeak is also good for finding keywords if you see patterns emerging okay here's another model the baxter let's take a peek at the baxter um you can see it's going to be right there that's going to be the model right there also button fly on these <laughs> look at their keywords mall prep norm uh, i'm not sure about that one have i that's it that's a different keyword set maybe maybe i'm out of the loop Lots of pictures on these, so you're, you're getting the these jeans from every possible angle. The more pictures is typically best. I think I do about 10, though. There is a point of overkill. Um, these right here, I, I'm noticing the keyword Japanese selvage, which these sold for almost 50 bucks. Right there, yeah, there you can see. So we have the Japanese selvage fabric, which... Um, Wow, they got a whole thing with the measurements. That's very specific. For me, because I, I, I kind of do a volume game, there is the trade-off of time versus information. I do include the measurements. There's the button fly. And what's interesting, they don't even show the selvage. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, they do right there. I, I misspoke. So there's the selvage right there. Um, one last thing thing I noticed <laughs> this seller right here this is interesting um, so I guess this seller right here is modeling these jeans um, kind of interesting perspective I don't know what's going on here I, this is interesting let's let's see let's look they have 2300 and change available how many have they sold this is almost like a store review uh, the solds on those 111. So that's sell through rate. A little bit over 100 out of 2300. That's a very low sell through. So it doesn't seem to be that this style of gene presentation is the best. I also wonder, even though they have sold some like this, are these all size 34? Yeah, 33, 34. So how are they getting so many jeans in the same size? Is this from their wardrobe? Do they have a way 32 by 32, a little tight? Um, so they've sold some of them. Um, to me, that'd be a little off-putting, but I guess I guess some people like that. I don't know. That that's that's interesting. But you can see they got a lot more for sale, and we're doing some modeling on the jeans. Interesting. Neither here nor there. Sorry, that's a side tour. Just caught my attention. Sometimes you'll see some. Some very interesting things when you're doing these deep dives. It looks like they're kind of, um, they've sold a lot of these though. So, so maybe it's working for them. Who am I to judge? Anyway. All right. So there's a quick deep dive. Let's go to our takeaways. What are our takeaways? Um, models to look for the Ezra, Ezra Fitch, um, paratrooper, or cargo jeans are, are good. Kilburn, we're looking for vintage. You, hello, VTG 
USA made. Um, Baxter and Japanese salvage. So these are, are some of the things I'd look for. Those are selling for better money, even though you could probably sell some standard Abercrombie and Fitch jeans around that $20 mark, depending on what you got. So hopefully this has been useful for you. If so, hit the like button, subscribe for more eBay content as we continue our deep dive into jeans, and then comment below <laughs> how what's the best way to present jeans to resell all right we'll catch you on the next video